Michelle Mel here. Yeah. I thought we would shoot this video to talk about cons and pros of these new eSky helicopters. Three of them are here. Um, I will begin with Nano. It's uh, by far the smallest four channel helicopter that I have ever flown. And it actually impresses me with its performance outdoors and indoors both. It's very stable if you know how to fly four channel helicopters and um, very easy to control, easy to set up. Uh, the thing that is good about this helicopter is it's small and lots of fun to fly. Um, it also has a very good sp spread. Uh, it also has a very good 2.4G spread spectrum radio, which is like a small, especially designed for this. Normally, what happens that with the small helicopters, companies would just like to throw in such kind of big radios. But I'm happy that eSky designed a total new mold and total new radio for this one. The thing I like about the radio is it's easier to bind and unbind from the helicopter receiver. Um, the helicopter has five in one receiver which is easier to bind. Sometimes it gives you trouble like for instance this morning when we were trying it when we plug the battery in after turning on the radio the helicopter shows that it's not bind. So I have to disconnect the battery plug it again disconnect plug it in again until it shows okay it gets the control so this is one of the cons on this hel on this helicopter that sometimes it will show you that there is no control and you will go binding or unbinding the receiver and radio again do not do that just disconnect the battery and connect the battery again and wait make sure the radio is on you have to turn the radio on off a couple of times you know and it will get back in control all right this is one of the thing uh, that I wanted to tell the second thing is okay eSky did a very good job on these on this little heli however all right eSky did a very good job on this heli but um, you need to make sure that you do not push the battery too much in because if you push the battery too much in it will push the five in one controller thus making the servos going out of control from their lock as you can see and once this happens you would probably just try to fix it back in thus disturbing the length or disturbing the level of this little swash plate what happens then when you fly the helicopter you will find it just tilts at one side or goes out of control at one side either forward backward left or right this is happening because the servos actually have moved from their position now this is one of the bad thing actually I would like to tell eSky that they should in fact make sure this thing is properly glued as you can see if you zoom in here as you can see there are two little notches given here now when you fix it it actually goes hold on it actually goes under this little piece you can see here it's a kind of bracket for the a swash plate and it fixes above servos now when you fix this one you need to make sure servos are also fixed on the lower plate properly once this is com properly fixed on both left and right servo you will have a stable flying heli otherwise it will disturb the level of swash plate and heli will not respond properly when flying now coming to the one more pro of this uh, nano eSky nano helicopter that this radio um, has a built-in calibration function right now this is a good heli for beginners or for those who want to have indoor fun as well as a little outdoor fun when there is no wind